Hey guys, this is episode 15 of my Let's Play series. Yes, we're up to episode 15. Now, what are we going to be doing today is we're going to be building the large piston clock. Now, this large piston clock will be controlling how many laps of the machine will do. So, what this size piston clock here it should be an inventory for. Um, should run for about... Ooh, I'd have forgotten how many laps, but I have done testing in my... Um, Super flat weld, so I definitely know it works, and I've definitely got everything sorted out. You may lose one stack, or you may gain one stack at the end, because it depends how good the runs are. Um, and plus, this is a little bit, this the main design here is a little bit different than the actual super flat weld design that I made. So, hopefully I'm a little bit more organized today. <laughs> than the other day. So what we're going to do first, uh, what are we going to do first? Oh, okay, so I'll give you some measurements. I think this is six wide. Oh, in the center here, there's, it's six long and it's four wide. Um, and it's going to be too high. I'm just uh, going to do that. I'm going to jump down here. Ouch. Yes, it is in peaceful still. We will be testing the trap today, like an actual track test. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping we're going to get one done today. Oh, it's this is been one hell of a journey with this this mob trap. I wanted to do something unique and different than than the stock standard canal systems or mob towers that everyone seems to be building nowadays. So let's hopefully it turns out good. Um, okay, so we've added the uh, second layer to this piston clock. Um, now we need to add all the pistons. Yes, I know. I haven't made an axe yet. I know that. You could just punch it. I bet I'm lazy. Okay. Oh, I was going to say, don't tell me I forgot to get the pistons out. Uh, piston here. And then we're going to have a piston here. I'm going to have another piston here. And another piston here. Pretty much just going around. And see so yeah. That's perfect. So, on the other end of these pistons here, we need to put furnaces. Now, this is so if your timing is out, it doesn't push out the block out the other side. Um, yeah. So, furnaces cannot be pushed with piston. So, say the timing was out and you had blocks all here, uh, it would push this block outwards and screw up your whole piston clock. Um, so yes, we don't want that happening. So just in case, you throw some furnaces in, just in here, on next to each piston, pretty much. Okay, so that's done. Now what we want to do? Glass. Did I bring glass? Yes, I did bring glass down this time. Okay, if I remember correctly, glass here. Glass here, here, here. Skip. Glass here. Skip. Glass here. Uh, all four corners like that. And one in this corner right here. Like so. And then we're going to grab a redstone repeater and a redstone torch. You have got to be kidding me. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. We can fix that. I need to go up and get some redstone torches. Okay, that's fine. And then we need to go over here. Knock this block out here. Oh, come on. Awesome. I'm going to knock this block in and put a another repeater here. So, uh, well, as soon as this red block goes all the way around, which it will, nicely, smoothly, I hope, get to here and then the current will travel through. And that will change the track, pulling us into the station with a full inventory. Okie dokie, hmm. Okay, so we'll cover that back over. And we still got no redstone torches, but we don't need it for this section. We just need repeaters in that. So, this first piston is right there. Which is fine. So same thing as upstairs. A nice big delay. Run it over here. 
Another nice big delay. Now you can adjust this. There's probably way better versions out there. Uh, yep, should be should be fine. Should be fine. Well, I don't need that one, do I? No, I don't. Okay. So, I have a button this time. I do have a button. Have a button. Okay. Please work. Perfect. So, now we can... See, it's working fine. Piston clock working fine. You can speed it up if you like. Pretty sure you can decrease one of these ticks and it'll go a lot faster. It's working perfectly. As you can see, that block is slowly moving around. And what we want it to do is quickly come back to this other side here. So we can set up the train track. So every time I press this button, this is going to be representing a, a lap around the machine. And this will make your inventory full before taking you off the machine. Come on, almost there. Alright, we're there. Power's come. Perfect. Where do we want this power to go? We want this power to go... Like that. Actually, I'll be right back. I've got to run upstairs and grab some redstone torches. Yeah, that's right. Torches. Okay, so we are back and we got redstone torch. I think what we may have to do first is set up the detector rail. Um, which is going to be... Well, there's going to be multiple detector rails, but for now, the detector rail is going to go here. So, where is that detector rail? Oh, phew. So, detector rail here. And we might have to get rid of that redstone. We're going to have to get rid of that redstone. I meant that torch. Yes, we're definitely going to have to. We're going to have to move that upwards. upwards. Um, yep, that's fine. Okie dokie. So, that is going to run power down to this, which is then going to go straight under. So, here we go. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna get gonna get access. Oh, ouch. I'm so worried about falling off this thing. Okay, so let's give us some points. I think that's where we're coming from. Now get back up the ladder. Okay, so remember all this is going to be enclosed, so don't worry about the redstone just yet. I've just got to double check that. Everything worries me on the brain, and of course, I don't have any freaking train tracks. It will work, I'm not too worried. Because that block there will get powered, and power that, and go underneath. So now we can jump down. Ow. Again. And we're going to get rid of this button here and that's it that there should run oh, got it there so now what we have to do is power goes to this so oh crap stupid me stupid stupid me so power will come to this here which will power this block here. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. It's a little bit different than my prototype version. But it's fine. So what we need to do first. Sorry. Just trying to plan everything in my head. And speak at the same time. And yeah. I've got to keep the conversation going. 
So, what we'll do. Okay, so this is where the track is going to change anyway. So what I need to do first is make a safe way of getting down. Well, not safe way, but get these blocks down. There we go. So nearly this piston clock can pretty much be covered up soon. So let's just put some tracks down. We'll just put all the tracks down for now. So it pulls into the station, hits your stop block. There we go. Now we need to go up. Perfect. Perfect, Sean. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Um, okay. It's going to be a wee bit different. Power there. Um, get rid of that. Put that in there. Okay. Sweet. Oh, mean. I'm going to have to make that go over the top. Or right around or something. Whatever. Whatever. I'll fix that up shortly. Getting confused in the jumble of redstone. But don't worry, it will work. Trust me. Chill out. There we go. So this also has to be hooked up to the main line. Trust me when I say it has to. Up, up, up. Okay. So that will fire. That will power. That will go through. That will pulse the entire piston. That's just what we want. I don't think we need a booster. How many blocks is that? I don't think we need a booster. Well, that'll be fine. I'll test it shortly. Okay, so that shouldn't interfere with that at all. Um, okay, sorry, just having real my ma no, mouse is spazzing out. So what next? What next? What next? Okay, mm, that's all hooked up. I think the best thing we can do now is run this redstone here, which is meant to be powered. I have to get rid of all this. Just run it straight underneath for now. Oh me! We gotta hide all this redstone later and put a floor on this. And okay, I'm gonna have to cut through this for the moment. There we go. Okay, we'll put this back together before I forget and think something's broken. Um, I guess we're going to make a hole where we want this power to go up. Hole. So many things. Okay, so the... Where is that corner of the track? That should be the corner of the track right there. So, we make a hole here. And that where... Where am I meant to be running it? It's that simple. I think we almost got this set up. Now we're just going to use the redstone torch method of running power straight up. So we can put that back on. And we can just run that. Straight on, turns off. Fantastic. Um, redstone torch goes here, and another block on top of it, another redstone torch, block on top of it. Now that block might interfere, ah. and, okay, so we've got to do something a little different. Okay, that's fine, that's all cool, we can change that, pretty simple to change. Ah. Of course I broke it already. My bad. 
far out. Okay. Put that back together. So the torch has got to go there, which is fine by me. So the torch goes... Is the torch in the right spot? Far out. Sorry, I'm a bit confused. This is how I am with redstone. All over the place. Okay, so is that block there? So... Can get rid of that block. And just that block. Awesome. Okay. Let's make a little platform to work on. So I don't get too confused. Okay, so that's the one that's meant to be changed. Sure. So all we have to do now is, instead of starting from the bottom, we start from the top, and then we just adjust it when we're down there. So that's pretty easy to change up. There we go. Now I'm not confused. Everything's coming together. I remember the prototype. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Put one there. Power there. Go, that's right. So we go to put. Hmm, looks like I was one off anyway. So power there. Ugh, we're gonna have to get that from the top. Go away. So that can be fixed. I don't need this anymore. So easy. There we go. A jumble mess of redstone. I should really be explaining what I'm doing. Okay, so the track should not be changed because there's no power. Yes, it is changed. Ah, so I need it back to front because there shouldn't be any power going through, which is not. So I need to. Ouch. All I gotta do is change the signal. Which is quite simple. Palm. There we go. Signal changed. Easy. Oh, how am I going to get out of here? Okay, so now we go back up. This should be normal. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Everything is looking fantastic. Um, hmm. Okay, so what I'll do is quickly run upstairs, pause the video, so you don't, you guys don't have to put up with this twirling around, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, got this, got the minecart that I needed. Um, now I'm just going to quickly run over this detector track, make sure the piston clock starts to turn as we run over it. Oh yes, perfect. Piston clock is working. Fantastic. Now we go fetch the minecart. Oh, well, we got to turn off this water supply first. Ugh. Run back over it. I think it won't be going fast enough. Ugh. There we go. Okay, it's all off. Okay, so that's working fantastically. One more test, which will be the, um, the come in track. There we go. Okay, so what did I do wrong? Come back here. Okay, okay, so something is wrong. One thing was working, the other thing doesn't work. Oh, the signal doesn't make it, as you can just see. So we'll get rid of this for now. We'll get it back in inventory. That's quite a simple fix. We just had a repeater in at the T section down here. Problem solved. Wah! Don't go that way. Problem solved. So now, this has to be here, by the way, or else say, say when um, when you finish the lap, when when you come down for the final lap, right? You'll go over this track here. You'll f go down to the, you'll go to the very end and come back. Now the track here is already changed. This here will be switched over to this track because it's the final loop. So, you know, you'd get the last bit of loot, you'd come up, and you would go over. Now, the problem is, say when you started, um, 
you know, you start, you just started off, and you press the button to shoot off your minecart. It, since this track here is changed, you'll actually go down there and all the way back there and all the way back, then up the loop. We don't want that to happen, so all we have to do is add another pressure plate sensor. So as soon as we pull into the track, that this track here will change back to normal, and then all we do when we shoot off upstairs, th that means that. Um, we will shoot straight off upstairs instead of down that way. That was the problem I had in the prototype. I was like, hmm, okay, how do we fix that? That's quite a simple fix. So now... Perfect. Piston clocks works with that one. Everything is working so perfectly. So all we now have to do is add a bunch of torches down here. And um, just so nothing spawns. Because that would be... Terrible. And then we got to add a wall on it so no one can see this stuff anymore. Um, yeah, it'd be nice if we could add like a a, a a panel with lights to tell us exactly what loop you're on and how many left to go in the cycle. Oh, that would be nice. We can add that stuff later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is probably fill in all this stuff here. Because, um, you know, we don't need access to the piston clock anymore. It is set up. So, actually, all we need to do... Oh, I don't have that switch anymore. Okay, so all we need to do is move this block down to there for the timing. Or else we're going to get a short collection run later on. So all we have to do to move it... It's quite simple. Grab out your glass again. To reset the clock, all you have to do is break out each corner. Make sure you broke out each corner. Break this block here. Put that down. So this corner's broken out, and then you just reset it by putting it back there. So now that'll be a f perfectly full inventory when it hits back around here, and then the track changes. Um, yeah. So, far out. I got a bit lost today in this jumble of redstone stuff. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done things like this. A lot of people be like, Daddy, you're so unorganized. What are you doing? Yeah, well, this is how I do my redstone wiring. Trial and error, my friend. Trial and error. So, yeah. You'll probably find a lot of people comment on that. So, all we have to do is set up some sort of um, push to get you started. So, that is it. The track is technically done. You'll technically do 10 loops or something like that of this. Inventory will get full. And then you end back here. And then you'd fill up your chests, or go home, which is over there somewhere, etc, etc. I'm so excited, we're pretty close. Um, I do know we've got to put the loops in on the end of the tracks, because I'm pretty sure down uh, the loop down there and the loop upstairs is not there. <laughs> so I've got to do that. And we've got to close all this off. Um, because what I was planning to do, we've got to do something fancy, but we'll just say the cobblestone could represent it for now. You'd block all this off, you know, this would be blocked off. These, will, there'll be doors here, and, um, you know, this will be the, oh, a nice room. So, you, you know, and, uh, probably glass roof, and you probably could see just the top here, and obviously we got to get rid of the, uh, storage bit up there, you know. That was when we first started off, we had all those chests. So we got to move those chests, which is going to be pain, because some of them... Well, most of them are actually still pretty full of just junk. So I've got to start transporting all that back to the base. And, um, yeah. There we go. So all I've got to do is put a bottom on that. But I think we have to call it... We have... We are, we're going to have to call this episode. I try to keep my own episodes within 20 minutes. Just so people don't get bored. Because I'm unsure how exciting this is for some people and not sure of the other but as you can see we've come a long way and i've done a lot of work on this farm so yeah anyway guys thanks for watching episode 15 with well thanks for watching episode 15 um well join me for episode 16 i'll catch you guys later